welcome to our training session on copy class. The copy class feature is a great time saver for when you want to take an existing class, whether that's an active class, an in progress class, or even a class that has expired in the past, and use it as a template to create additional new classes. It's exceptionally useful when you have a particular class that may meet on multiple days and multiple times. I can simply create one class to represent all of those classes as a template and copy it over and over again just making small changes to the new versions of the class that I've created. Let's go ahead and copy a class to see how it all works. I'm going to copy this Acro class 3 and create a new version of it. If you'll see, this class has a beginning and ending date of September through June, and it runs every Saturday at 2.30 p.m. for 60 minutes. I want to create another class that actually is held on a Tuesday, same time, but a different day of the week. Rather than going through the four steps of creating a class from scratch, I'm going to use the copy class feature to save time. I've just clicked on that class to take myself to the class maintenance screen. From the class maintenance screen I can look at all the current information about the class that I'm about to copy. You'll see right in the middle of section 1, core class information, is the copy class button. I'm going to go ahead and click on this to start the process of copying this class. Once I click on it, I get a pop-up window with some information about the existing class plus a few of the key fields that I can change right away for the new class. In this situation I want to keep the name of this class the same. It is still an Acro class 3. The only thing that's changing is the day of the week and I can't change all of that information on the copy class window. I can change that once I've created the actual copy. So there's really nothing else I want to change here. There are some additional options such as setting no end date on the new class that we're creating, saying it has an open schedule, meaning it doesn't meet on any particular day or time each week and it's custom scheduled. I can also tell it to honor skipped closed calendar event days so that when I generate billing or enroll new students in this class, I can take advantage of the prorating features of the Class Juggler billing system. I think I will go ahead and click that option because that's quite useful. You also have a third option which is copying all active student enrollments. That's useful if you need to move students from session to session. They're not really dropping out of a class, you're just picking up where one session may have left off. In this case, because this is a monthly class and it's a new day of the week, I'm going to leave all the existing students in their original class. This will just be an empty class I'm creating on a new day of the week. Since I've got everything I need on this, I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And that's going to go ahead and create that blank new copied class with all the same information from the original class. The first thing you'll notice if you look over on the Status, Options, and Indicators section in the upper right of your window is that this class is in an inactive status. Once you've copied a class, it's not yet ready for enrollment or for other actions such as attendance until you activate the class, which is done by offering the class. Before we actually complete this class and offer it for enrollment, we need to make some changes since it is a new date. It's going to still be held in the same classroom that I've assigned here, Classroom B. The only thing we really need to change is the day of the week and the time. So I'm going to go into my Section 2 and click on my Edit so I can edit the class schedule. Here's the original schedule for the class that we copied, which is again September through June of 2016. And it's held on a Saturday. I want to move this to a Tuesday, so I'm going to uncheck Saturday, click on my Tuesday to set that as my date, and I will change my time since this class is a 2.30 p.m. class running for a full 60 minutes. I'm going to save my changes on that schedule. Maybe even take a quick look at my calendar. Yep, that looks good. There's all my class dates all the way through June. And now that I've got my schedule updated, I'm going to return back to the main class maintenance screen. And now I'm ready to go ahead and offer this class. I've made all the changes I need. I'm pretty sure I don't have any conflicts with other classes on that same day. 
Once I'm ready to go, I'm going to click Offer Class. I did not get any errors, so now we can see this class is now active and in progress and ready for new enrollees. I hope you've learned how to use the Copy Class feature to save yourself time and steps in creating new classes. Again, this is a great feature when you have an existing class that meets on multiple days throughout the week. You can take one of those classes, copy it multiple times in order to create all those other schedules. Happy juggling! Thank you.